Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Star Scream the Autobot here. And welcome back to another Lego Transformers video. And today we have my Lego Transformers G1 Grimlock version 2. As you can see, I have Grimlock in his robot mode because I like his T-Rex mode a lot. And he has changed a lot. And I happen to have him in his robot mode. So, yep, so let's just take a look at him, shall we? Unlike most of my Transformers, he has a bunch of articulation in his head. It can move up and down, and a 360. So it can do quite much with his head. His arms have no articulation in the elbow, sadly. They could just go 360, like that. And then his legs can move right here and at the knee. So you can't give it you can't give him that much poses, but with the head you have a pretty good variety of poses. Got his little Autobot symbol. Let's show you a three sixty around. Got this T Rex junk in the back. But that's okay. He looks nothing like G1 Grimlock in robot mode, but in T-Rex mode, I say he has quite a change. Now, let me just point out again, this guy has changed a lot since the first one. As you can see, I don't have my light on. I thought that was too bright and it just casted shadows everywhere and it was just weird. So, let's get right into the transformation. First, you're going to want to put his head straight up. And then you're going to want to come over, straighten out his legs, oops, sorry, straighten out his legs, and then put them, they just pull them in. Like so. Just like my old one. Then you're going to put his tail in the way that you want it. And then you're going to take his arms, put them out. This one's kind of loose. Just put him into his position, and then you want to take this part, flip it, Oop. and you're going to want to flip it, Oop. it came loose, flip it up, flip the head down, put this there. Sorry. Like I said, that leg is very loose. And then just open his mouth how you want it. And there. There had Grimlock in his T-Rex mode. I really like Grimlock's T-Rex mode, especially the upper section. He might fall down a lot. I want to change that soon. But yeah. His underside bunch of junk but still I really like it I think he's pretty cool got his mouth his transformation is very similar to most Grimlock's transformations but I really like his head I don't know why but that head just comes to me I really dig it but yeah his legs aren't as great as I expected. So, and his arms, I was gonna add like a little, um, yeah, I was going to add a little minifigure, not a minifigure hand, but like a robot hand, like a wrench, those wrench things, and I was gonna stick it in there, but then I realized that it couldn't fit in there, so I just tried a bunch of things with it. I put it into here, it would fit in there. Like, okay, and now I know. Well, I couldn't do that. No, yeah, I could. I could, but I put it right there. I could use that half peg. I just now thought of that. 
Oh well. Anyway, I really like this Grimlock overall. Especially in this mode. I said that there was going to be a version 2 coming out soon, so, and so yeah, here it is. I can put him in his menacing diny mode, dinosaur mode. Rawr. Get him to balance. He's really heavy in his tail. In this mode. And like I said, his leg is really loose. I know if he's to fix that. See? Oops. Don't worry about that. I guess right now is not the best time to show. make him go upright and yeah so overall I think this is a pretty good Grimlock and and thanks for watching please subscribe and peace